Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover hard links and soft links. In the Linux environment, there is a concept of a link, which is basically a pointer to a file, or in other words, another name to access a file by. There are hard links and soft links, which are very different implementations of the concept of a pointer. The hard link is the older style of creating a link and has two limitations. The hard link can reference a file but not a directory. And secondly, the hard link cannot reference a file in another file system. The ln command creates either hard links or soft links. So let's go ahead and do cd just to go back in a home folder so we all have a good starting point. And then I'm going to copy the Etsy password file to my local directory. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so the things to notice is the size and the modification dates. The ln command is used to create either hard links or soft links. And the simplest usage is basically to do ln and then the name of the original file and then the name of the hard link file. So I'm going to type ln of password as the original file and then password dash hard link to denote the hard link file. And let's take a look with the ls command. So I'm going to do ls dash l of password star so we can see both of them. And as you can see, this new file called password hard link was created. The size is exactly the same, right? Because it's a link to the original file. And then the modification times are also the same. One of the other things you should notice is that now this original file has two in this column here. So this means that there's now two hard links to that particular file. Now let's take a look at the limitations of the hard link. We said earlier that a hard link cannot reference a directory. So let's try. Let's do a hard link of the Etsy folder to a new folder called slash tim slash Etsy dash hard link. And we are going to be given this error that says hard links of not allow for directories. The second limitation we talked about earlier is that a hard link cannot link to another file system. So let's try. I'm going to try to link Etsy password to the temp folder, which is another file system. And we're going to get this error that says invalid cross device link, right? So that's the error you get when you try to go to another file system. So now let's take a look at some of the properties of a hard link. So one of the things that happened when you delete a hard link, the link is deleted, but the contents of the file remains until all the links are deleted. So let's uh, do another example by creating a second hard link to our original file. So we're going to do L ln of password to password hard link. Two. All right, let's do an ls minus l again of password star. And now the main difference is that we'll see that there's a number three here, right? Basically, this says that there's three hard links to this data. And these are all the same attributes, same file sizes and whatnot. Let's go ahead and edit one of those hard links. It doesn't matter which one, but let's send, let's edit password dash hard link. Okay, and let's just go ahead and delete five lines. I'm going to do 5dd and then go ahead and save. And now if I do the ls minus l again, you will see that the file size has changed. Right, so it's smaller because I deleted five lines. And then the modification time has also been updated. But note that the attributes are the same, exactly the same for all three links. 
right? So if I change one file, it changes them all. So now let's take a look at what happens when we delete heart links. So let's go ahead and delete the original. And we're going to delete the second one that we made. Okay, and then we're going to do the ls command again to see what we have left. So we are just left with the first link that we did, that file. So this confirms that when you have hard links, it doesn't matter which one you change, all of them are the same. And then it doesn't matter which ones you delete, as long as you have one of them left, you can still access the data. So that explains hard links. Now let's take a look at soft links. Soft links or symbolic links were created to overcome the limitations of the hard links. So soft links are basic pointers to the original file, much like a window shortcut. So let's take a look at what we have currently. So we have just one file named password hard link. Let's go ahead and create another hard link to this. And we'll call it password, just like the original file. And now let's create a soft link or a symbolic link. So the way to do that is you use the dash S option for the LN command. And then much like before, you give it the name of the original file. And then you give it the name of the soft link. So let's take a look at what we have. We should have two hard links and one soft link. So here we are. So these two are the hard links and you can tell because they will have the number two, right? Because we have two of them and then the size and last modification attributes are exactly the same. And next we have the soft link. And so one thing you will notice in a soft link is that the name actually gives you a pointer to the original. So you can see here the original is the password file. Also note that the size of the softlink file is not the same as the original, but rather it reflects the number of characters of the link target name. So in this case, password is six characters long, so this file size is six bytes. So now let's take a look at some of the behavior of a softlink, one of which is what happens when you delete a softlink. So when you delete a softlink, only the link is deleted. But when you delete the original, all of the remaining soft links will still be there, but will point to nothing. So the other thing that happens is when you make edits to the soft link, all the files get changed. So let's go ahead and make a edit to the soft link. I'm going to delete five lines and save the file and take a look with ls-l again. And so once again, you can see for the hard link files, the size have been reduced and the date and timestamps was updated. But for the soft link, the size does not change, right? Because the size does not reflect the contents of the file, but rather the length of the file name. And then the last modified date also does not change. So now let's take a look at the behavior of when you delete links. So let's go ahead and delete the original file. So when we delete the original file, let's go ahead and do an ls minus l. We can see that the original file is gone, but the hard link files are still here. And then the soft link file is still here. However, the problem is that because the soft link file points to the original file, which is named password, it is no longer there. So when we take a look at the contents of the soft link, we will get an error that says there is no file or directory. However, because the heart link is still intact, we can still take a look at the contents of it. Let's take a look at the top three lines of the heart link. And there you can see that we actually have valid data. To really understand how the heart links and soft links work, we will need to peek behind the curtain and look at the inodes associated with each link. Inodes are the data structures in the Unix-style file systems that describe a file system object 
such as a file or directory. Each inode contains the attribute of a file, such as the owner, group, permissions, link count, size, etc., and the location of the disk blocks that contain the actual data. The way you access a file is that you reference a file name such as password. The system will look in the file table for that file and look up its associated inode number. Then, it will find that inode and look at the pointer to the data. When you create a hard link, you are basically creating a new entry in the file table for a new file but pointing to the same inode. So there really is only one copy of the underlying data. This is why when you delete any of the hard links, the data is still there until you delete the last hard link. With soft links, a new inode is created upon creation of the soft link. The soft links inode contains different permissions and the link location is not pointing to the data, but rather points to the linked file. So if we look back at the examples before, when we deleted the original file, the soft link is still there, but accesses no data. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we looked at what hard links and soft links are. We also created both types of links with the ln command. So the summary is that hard links have limitations like it cannot point to a directory and it also cannot point to files in another file system. But the good thing about hard links is because they point to the file content, when you delete one hard link, the content is still there. Because soft links point to file names when you delete the original, the soft link is no longer pointing to anything valid. And when you look at the size of a hard link, it's the size of the content. And the size of a soft link is the size of the file name. If you look at the soft link with ls minus l, you can tell where it's pointing to. But with the hard link, you actually cannot tell where it is pointing to. You just know that there's hard link that exists by looking at that number in the column. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.